Welcome to the ECLO Games Engine introductory video. I'm going to very briefly run through the main areas and show you how it works. Um, first of all, there's a teacher's page and a student's page. We're looking at the teacher's page now where after you've registered and logged in, this is what you will see. Uh, this is the student's page. It's over here. Um, but we'll run through the teacher's page mainly today. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you can enable games that have already been made. Now what you do, you click on enable games over here and you'll see the list of games. Now let's say we want these two games here, those are two maths games, and then we'll run down to the bottom of the list and it will be, it's going to be a very big list and you can click save. Now it tells you that it's been updated, you click OK and then you see the games appear over here. Now you can check whether this game is exactly what you want by clicking on it and then you'll be able to see the game itself and look through various aspects uh, etc. Now if you don't want that game you just go back to enable games and remove it. Now on the student page over here uh, you'll actually see the games that you have selected for your students over there so they'll be shown on this list here and then if a student wants to use that just clicks on it and there's the game but it will obviously in the format where they can play it. Now let's go back to the teachers uh, page here we are again uh, so these are all the games that already are created and you can choose as many or as few as you want to use you can use just a few for a particular lesson or make a whole set for uh, a whole period uh, you can delete them as we said and I've shown you before now the other thing you can do is if none of these games suit or you want to do something in particular you can make your own game. Now you just click on new game here and then you'll select um, there's a few details here, you'll select what sort of game you want. Now the language you will choose English in this instance, what sort of game let's say it's a maths game and the game type and you can see there's a division, uh, edition, images, multiple choice etc etc. Now, once you've selected, let's say in this instance, edition, you can go to create that and you'll run through the different ways of creating the game. I'm not going to go into that today because that's a whole new section and this is only an introduction. Finally, we'll look at the tab called New Languages. Now, if you want to lad, add a new language, let's say Bulgarian or Romanian, whatever language you want, you can do that and it means the game's interface will then be in the new language but what you will have to do is translate the various buttons within uh, that will be needed. So these are the buttons that you need to translate and then you click OK and that will add a new language and then when you go to the games end you'll see that as a new language. So that's more than enough for now. Thank you very much for listening.